The blood pressure and pulse are two medical measurements routinely used to determine the state of a person's health. Each remains intimately connected to the heart, the most vital organ of the body. Regular monitoring and preventive strategies can help achieve good heart health. The blood pressure. The blood pressure and pulse are two very different measurements, but they have the heart as their common denominator. The blood pressure consists of the pressure the blood exudes in the walls of the arteries as it flows through the body. The two forces at work during this process known commonly as the readings, or systolic and diastolic, make up the blood pressure reading. The systolic reading represents the highest reading and action that records the pressure when the heart contracts while moving blood through the body. It is generally listed first. The pulse. The pulse, a somewhat simpler measurement, represents the actual number of heartbeats per minute. The health care provider counts heartbeats over the course of one minute while a person remains in a resting state. Causes of a slow or weak pulse, known as bradycardia, include electrolyte imbalances, heart muscle damage, or hypertension. By contrast, a faster-than-normal pulse rate, known as tachycardia, indicates interruptions in the heart's electrical impulses. Measurement of blood pressure and pulse. The difference in the measurements lies in what a person measures, pressure against arteries versus actual heartbeats counted. To measure the blood pressure, a person uses a monitor known as a sphygma manometer and a stethoscope. The cuff wraps snugly around the upper arm with a rubber tubing directly over the bend of the elbow where the main arteries are. Once secured, inflate the cuff until the needle reaches the 180 to 200 range. After placing the stethoscope head over the arteries, Gradually release pressure while watching the dial and begin to listen carefully. Normal blood pressure and pulse readings. Blood pressure readings in the range of 120 by 80 or less remain a normal consideration for adults, while a reading from 120 to 139 over 80 to 89 may warrant a diagnosis as prehypertensive and would require monitoring. A definitive diagnosis of hypertension would occur with consistent readings above 140 by 90. A normal pulse rate varies according to age of the individual. Normal heartbeats, for example, would be 60 for infants, 70 to 120 for children age 1 to 10, 60 to 100 for children older than 10 to adulthood, and 40 to 60 for athletes. Low pulse rates, recognized variable among athletes, remains a side effect of the physical training and body fitness. A pulse oximeter is used in lung conditions to catch the moment when the oxygen level in the blood becomes dangerously low. All organs and tissues suffer from a lack of oxygen, primarily the heart and brain. Blood pressure monitor controls the indicators of our body, with the help of which our body informs us about violations of its vital activity, blood pressure. It is characterized by the level of blood pressure on the walls of blood vessels, and very often this term refers to blood pressure, BP. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.